In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to save our live setting to a regular program so that we have it as a reference in the event that we get a little too ambitious or we make a mistake in our live setting, so much so that we can't get back to that sweet spot that we had set up originally. So to do that, it's really straightforward. It's almost as easy as saving a program by itself. First, let's analyze the live setting right now for a moment so we can determine a before and after. So I have the organ set up a certain way, combined with the synth and a bunch of effects. The sound that I have sounds like this. So now I'm going to save that to a program. So I'll hold the shift button and then push the store button. Now you might see that the store is disabled or the memory protection is on. So first I have to disable that. This is a one-time setting, but I'll go ahead and push the shift button and hold the system button down. That brings me into the system settings where I can page up and down these pages. But the very first page is the one that says memory protect on or off. But in this case, as you load the keyboard for the first time, you need to turn the memory protection off, thereby allowing you to save programs. So to save this, you hold the shift button and push the store button which essentially is store as. It'll give you the chance to save it with a certain name. I'll call this Mark. You probably could even call it Live 1, 2, 3, and 4, but I'm just going to call this Mark. And let me put a space here, and then I'll say 1. Here we go, mark one, and then I'll delete the rest of this. That's the name of it, and then push the store button again. Notice it's still blinking. So push it one more time, and then it says store live two, and that's where we can go out of live mode and locate an empty area of your keyboard, typically in the back. So I'll go to the W's here, since I've got nothing in the W's for sure. W11, which is empty, so it says store live to W11, currently empty, store it as Mark 1. So one more click of this button here, the store button, and now W11, which is a standard program, now has that Mark 1 sound, which was my live setting. So now when I go back to live mode, of course it's going to have the same exact sound because I just copied it. But what if I were to accidentally tweak this, someone comes along, they ruin my settings, or I accidentally ruin it, not realizing that I'm in live mode, and then I come back to live one, and all of a sudden, either I've got nothing, or I've got some form of mixed up sound, what am I to do? I can go back to W11, so I'll go back out of live mode, and navigate to W11, which I'll know is my live settings, and just locate it and play it for a second. Ah, my sound is preserved and saved, but of course I want that in the live setting. So how do I do that? It's really the same thing in reverse. I'll hold the shift button and push the store as button. It's allowing me to save it with a name, but that is really not applicable because live settings don't have the ability to save a name. So I can kind of skip this, but I can still say, it says save, save program as, I'll just say uh, I'll push it one more time. Now it's asking me to store program 2, but I don't want it back to W11. I want it in live mode, so here's where I can have it flip a switch to live mode. It's live slot 1, and then push store one more time. And now in my live 1, I should have my good sound. Go back out of live mode, go to 2 and 3 and 4, and then back to 1. It's saved. So this is a shortcut or a pro way of saving your live settings on the board itself in the unlikely event that something goes wrong during a performance, you're in live mode, you don't realize you're in live mode, and all of a sudden it's all messed up. So just as a review and one more review and crack at this, we'll get out of live mode, we'll navigate to our saved area, which is W11, push the shift button and the store button, it says store program as, we can kind of skip that step and then push the store button again, store program two, 
this is where you might not remember oh I gotta go into live mode tell it to go to alive one and then push store that will take that sound and bring it right back to what it was hopefully you enjoyed that lesson and it comes in handy for you